Hey, it's Mr. Johns. Welcome to this episode of Collecting Hot Wheels Mustangs. i just doing some research this morning on 2012 uh, Hot Wheels Mustangs and wanted to do another kind of update on the process of this. Uh, it just to me, I think it fascinates me every time uh, that, I, that I do this and how many cars there are. So here's what I do. I start off with um, and again, those of you new um, to this series, I've been collecting um, for years, but my goal is to have every Hot Wheels Mustang, period, right? Uh, what I'm starting with is at least one casting of each Mustang. So if there are two, let's say there are two 65 Mustang convertibles for the same year, different series, but same car, I'm starting with just buying finding my favorite and having one and so my collection should have at least one of every casting it's called uh, so that's the plan uh, I can't always stick to that because sometimes they're just both awesome and so uh, if I can afford it I will buy both but eventually I'll go back and try to fill in all the gaps and I'll try to get every and that's a crazy goal but uh, because some of them are thousands of dollars. So that's what, what I'm uh, up to. And um, I've started with the first series, which is 1968, and I'm up to 2012. So I'm getting there. I'm catching up to current times. So, um, and one thing that I've learned is they don't always get cheaper the newer they get. I thought that's what would happen. That's why I started with the older stuff. I figured that would it would get more expensive if I waited much longer. But... Turns out some of the newer cars are hundreds of dollars, and I don't know if that's, I don't know if there's a great strategy. So anyway, I want to show you what, what I do here. I'm at uh, Hot Wheels Wiki, basically Hot Wheels, it's hotwheels.fandom.com, but it's the, if you do a search for Hot Wheels Wiki, that's it. And then I simply just click on 2012 cars, uh, and then what I do is I go through the list. Here's a list of all the 2012 cars. Now, this is a Wikipedia and I, I've said this time and time again to collect other collectors. You cannot, you cannot trust one source, and that's just common research practice. You want at least three sources, and so that's what I use: three sources, um, sometimes more. Uh, but it tells us right here for 2012 there'll be 50 new models, 10 series of 10 cars, 15 treasure hunts, 15 track stars, 45 thrill racers, and 22 code cars, totaling 247 cars. Now that's all great, but someone hasn't bothered typing them all in or um, there are some special editions that aren't included in that list and so what I started off doing this morning was going down the list and just looking for any Hot Wheels and so I stop right here uh, here we go this is um, uh, car 8 of 50 out of new cars new models uh, and there's it's the 2012 Mustang Boss 302 Laguna Seca, and there are three colors. And so here's my example exactly. There's a black, a silver, and a blue. I don't necessarily need all three colors. Would I like all three colors? Of course I would. I just pick my favorite. And in this case, I don't know, probably the black and red is my favorite. Blue would be second, silver third. But So then I would go, go to eBay, uh, and I would search that and see which one I could find for the cheapest and now let's say the silver was my least favorite but I could find it for 25 bucks and the others were 50 or 60 I would buy the silver one it's fine it's fine um, and so that's how my research works and so I scroll all the way down go through all the blah, 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 all the cars go through every single one there's a ton of them make sure I write down there's some uh, treasure hunt make sure I write on every every single one what's interesting is that um, there are also Tre super treasure hunts there's super treasure hunts and this just says 2012 treasure hunt series and sure enough there is a custom mustang that is a treasure hunt but um and there's also a 92 ford mustang that is a treasure hunt but what they're missing is uh there's a 67 mustang coupe that is a super treasure hunt so where is that where is that um i believe it's in the muscle mania ford series so let me go see if i can even find that so in the process of researching, you will, let's give me below that. Um, you just have to cross-reference, cross-reference. And so I'm looking for uh, Muscle Mania Ford. Faster than ever, there should be uh, a Mustang, there we go, a Mustang, Ford Shelby, Super Snake. Muscle Mania GM, 
a muscle mania ford here we go so there should be right here 67 shelby gt500 but there should also be a uh, 67 mustang coupe there we go now what's oh it's you just can't see it right here okay so it does list it as a super treasure hunt so just <clears throat> researching following up um from another source so <coughs> excuse me there's a lot of ford mustangs in that series as there should be my next source is collecthotwheels.com collect hw.com and what i do here is i um when i start i just uh back at the main page I, I make sure I go to 2012 and then this is um, I find a ton of stuff here that the other Wikipedia doesn't have always 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 and sometimes I get excited I hate to get excited um, <laughs> that there's not very many but it's my pocketbook it's it's expensive so when I'm like there's 11 Mustangs that's it that's awesome that's not gonna be so expensive uh, and then I come to this site and I go to 2012 and then you if you do a search over here if you type in Mustang, it will sub subcategorize um, all the 2012s into just Mustangs. Now, don't forget, there's also a, such a thing as Shelby. Now, those are really Shelby Mustangs, but if you look carefully right here, this is called a 10 Ford Shelby GT500. The word Mustang is nowhere to be found. And so if you don't search for Shelby, you're going to miss a few cars now these I call them uh, a Shelby Mustang right I mean there are other cars like this right here this is a Shelby Cobra Shelby made his own cars he made here's a Shelby Cobra here's a Ford Shelby G GR1 here's a classic Cobra um, here's a Sh Shelby you know so you have to be careful um, yes they're Shelby Mustangs but if it's called a Shelby uh, you need to make sure you search for Shelby. It does make you wonder what else are you missing if you're not calling a Shelby or a Mustang. What else is out there? And so you might have to go through some other names just to make sure you're not missing anything. Uh, and so then I went through uh, this morning, just a few minutes ago, went through all of these and there were two pages uh, of Mustangs and probably a dozen. I got three pages written down probably a dozen or so that were not on the wiki page. So I'm like, what? Like this car, that wasn't even there. What? Why was that not there? There's a bunch of them. And then finally I go to uh, hotwheelstreasure.com, hwtreasure.com, just to verify. And I just look at these two things, these two categories, treasure hunts. So if you look at the, you can search by year. If you just look at 2012 treasure hunts, I scroll down. If, some people collect just treasure hunts. And so this is a great source for that but I go down I just look for Mustangs and here's that 67 custom Mustang um, and if you click on it it'll give you full uh, information I guess that's about it though uh, and a bigger picture of it tells you a little bit of information about the color and so that is the only no I think there's one more yeah the 92 Ford Mustang also so there are two treasure hunts and then if you go back up to supers that's the super treasure hunt they have better paint jobs a little more detail real rubber tires um, and if you scroll down, you will find the 67 Ford Mustang Coupe, and that is the only, just double check here, that is the only Super Treasure Hunt that's a Mustang. Uh, six out of ten of the Super Treasures. It's also in a series called Muscle Mania Ford. So that is the thing we just looked at at the other site that I was cross-referencing. It's called a Secret uh, Treasure Hunt. Be, or a super secret super treasure hunt because uh, it doesn't say hey this is a treasure hunt which is the way they used to do it literally I'll show you I'll go back to the treasure hunt series 2012 I think they've stopped doing that since but look uh, right here 67 custom Mustang it says right here it's a it's a 67 custom Mustang in the treasure hunts 12 series well Wow, how hard was that to find? I mean, that's the way it had been done for years. I mean, so it's still hard to find because people people obviously bribe people that go in early, they tear open boxes, stock, stock people go through and pick these out first. And so they are really, really hard to find. Um, but I like the fact that now um, 
most of them are secret or hidden and so this particular car if you look at it it's a 67 ford mustang coupe it's in the muscle mania ford 12 series that's it that's it nothing i mean you wouldn't really notice anything about it but if you were to um zoom in right there that's the th symbol uh, and you may also notice, hey, real rubber tires, Spectra Flame, which is very shiny, sparkly color. Um, but that TH symbol, that is a hidden, that's a hidden symbol. That means, hey, this is a treasure hunt. So uh, I like that. They're a little harder to find. So those are the three steps that I use, the three places that I use. I do have a few others. I basically save it to a Hot Wheels um, folder. And the other one is um, South Texas Diecast. I've used that less lately. It's a little bit harder to maneuver. Um, not really sure where to go usually. They could do a better job. Um, casting guide maybe, but it does have a ton of information once you can dig in. So here's 2012, treasure hunts, new models, segment series, mainline cars. And so I use this as kind of a fourth, uh, a fourth, a fourth source. Um, I can't, I don't think I can, Search it by Mustang. Pretty much have to go through and look at every single one. These are all the treasure hunts. And so here's that 67. And I just want to make sure there's no, and the, and the 92. Those are the two. Uh, but it does give me some good information on color and, and things like that. So they spend a ton of time on this site. It's just not super user friendly. And so here are the hidden super secret treasure hunts. And you will find that 67 Mustang Coupe right here. And it also has a, a, a photo, which is which is helpful if you're doing some searching. So this is a good fourth source. And so I feel like my research um, is pretty reliable because I go through all of those sources. Uh, and then I keep um, a website called HotWheelsMustangs.com. And I uh, basically I'm just starting my 2012s. And so I will go in, to go in and I will type in. I already have that super treasure hunt. There it is. And I'll type in all the cars that I should have um, and there'll be a bunch of them and then my next so I have all the details all the facts and I'll publish that before I even have the car and then I can use that as my shopping list which is what I do over the next month or two um, to find hopefully uh, one of each of those so there's a few other categories um, that um, are also important to me and on my website I keep a page for collectors convention cars and collectors national cars so there are two two conventions every year I have not been to one um, but oftentimes a Mustang is an important uh, special casting or special paint job um, that they do just for these conventions and so I have a bunch of them I don't have all of them um, 2010 and then the next one is 2015 for that one and so those tend to be a little more expensive um, but here's the nationals collect the nationals collectors nationals um, and um, you know I try to get all of them 2010 coming soon 2011 2012 so there's one right here so this is not likely on any of those lists and so you also have to be aware uh, of, of these nationals, if you care for that kind of thing. It, it is not something that, that uh, Mattel put out. It's something that they work with, um, I think, a professional who, who strips, strips a car and professionally paints it and makes, makes castings, of, makes copies of those. And so I don't know much more about that. Uh, if they're working with hand in hand with Mattel, I should research that a little more. Um, but they're not something you can just buy at the store. You have to get it um, from the from those conventions or afterwards for people who sell them online. And so I like those because those are, I think, very collectible. There's not very many of them. Um, and my goal is to have uh, each of one of each of those as well. So I've got a lot of I've got a lot of work to do on that. And a lot of money to spend. But you can see a lot of them come in baggies, and I I cut them out of the bags, which re reduces the uh, the value like this one it was in its bag i kept it in its bag for a while then i'm like nope set it free set it free so i cut it out and there it is in all its glory i think it's really special uh, and i'd rather have it out so i can see it 
uh, play with it, that kind of thing. So even if it cuts the value from 100 bucks to 50 bucks or whatever it was, so I don't I don't care. So anyway, just a little update on my research. Uh, when I wake up in the morning, sometimes I ask myself, am I going to work on Hot Wheels today? Am I going to build some Legos? Am I going to uh, work on um, yeah, um, updating the I mean, I'm, I'm involved in a lot of a lot of things, a lot of hobbies. So um, I'm trying to help update the Lego Speed Champions Wikipedia because there's no pictures on that site. So I started adding uh, photos um, of all the Lego Speed Champions cars. So and my goal is to collect all of those as well. And I've got a wall uh, and a shelf full of those and I'm getting close to that. Um, so those are the things I collect and things that I'm into, but I love that when I wake up, I'm like, what do I want to work on? Is it going to be Hot Wheels? Is it going to be Speed Champions? Sometimes it's a little bit of both. So, and I like to share that information with others who may be interested in the same stuff. So there's a little research. Now I'm going to do some more um, on my website and start looking for those 2012s on eBay. And that's the part I like the most, but uh, I have to wait for a paycheck to come in first uh, this month. <laughs> so uh, anyway, there's my research update for January 3rd, 2023. For now, Mr. Johns is out.